Greetings, welcome to my channel and a happy new year. Happy new year, Scorpio. This message is going to be for January, 2022 for Scorpio sun, Scorpio moon and Scorpio rising. And I'm a Scorpio rising. So I'm going to take this to heart as well. So let's see what we're going to learn. What I'm going to do is a Celtic cross, a mini Celtic cross spread for an overview of January 2022 and at the end I'll do a oracle card, an oracle card for an overall message, okay? So I'm just going to shuffle again a couple more times and we're going to ask Spirit, what does Scorpio need to know for 2022 for January? Okay, Scorpio. I hope that 2021 was good and I'm hoping also that you're glad that it's finished. <laughs> We're moving into 2022 and I think there's a gentleness going on because Venus is retrograde and there's a little bit more kindness, Jupiter's in Pisces, things are just settling down so into a quieter, calmer time. So let's see, I'm going to cut the deck now for Scorpio and after I'll, I'll put the cards down and then we will um, We'll show you the card. Okay. Okay, Scorpio. So the bottom of your deck is the High Priestess, which is excellent. You're very in tune. You're listening and listening, listening to what Spirit's telling you. Okay, so let's turn this down and we'll take a look at the cards together. Okay. So Scorpio, you're starting the month and starting the year in a great happy place. You're grateful. You're thankful for your friends. You're, you're seeing your friends' achievements, your achievements. You see how everything has been dovetailing together in such a glorious way. And there's a harmony that you're enjoying in your life right now. That is excellent. The energy that is working with that is the Ace of Pentacles. So. <clears throat> You're enjoying this, but you know that there's more. There's more coming to you and you can feel it. Scorpio with your High Priestess card here. Oh, and underneath it is the Ten of Cups. I'll just leave that right there. So the Ace of Pentacles is a gift from God, a gift from the universe saying, here's a brand new beginning for you. And it's not just a brand new beginning in something in general. It's very specific. It's in your practical life. How you live, where you live, your finances, something brand new is being gifted to you. There is a garden here, and in this garden, there's lilies. Lilies are wisdom. You've learned an awful lot already, and you're going to go through this portal, which is the gate. This beautiful gate is going to take you into a new realm. So continue with your friends. Continue in your own heart to be grateful and celebrate. But no, that's not just the end. This is just the beginning. You're celebrating the beginning of what is coming. And you can sense it. I know, Scorpio, you feel things and you know things and it's coming. Okay. In the past, far distant past, you've been feeling bound up, constricted, oppressed, and chained and trapped in all those things what the devil has. Some of these t things have been things that Scorpio's done to themselves and being stuck in places where Scorpio doesn't like to be stuck, but sometimes you're just biding your time because you know that the day of freedom is there. However, this also can be from outer oppression and you're, you've just been feeling that entrapment of life around you <clears throat> and Scorpio sensitive. So you would be feeling any kind of any kind of oppression coming at you. You've known that. You can recognize it. That's the key here for you, Scorpio. You've seen it. You've recognized it. And in your recent past, you've been wanting to walk away from it. This is the moon card. And the moon is, uh, you imagine a dark night with the moon shining bright. It's not a time when you're feeling the warmth of the sun, but you can still see the path that's ahead. You know that there's going to be, a, here again, we have another portal, okay? These two pillars are a portal, just like the pillars in this Ace of Pentacles. That's interesting. So you're definitely seeing, you've, you're quite aware that there's pillars that you're going to be walking through and your life will change. 
Here you've also been facing your fears and dominating them with courage. And you, you know how to move through this darkness. You know how to handle any fears. And you're quieting your mind. In the dark of night, you can quiet your mind and you can be present and you can tune in. You're tuning in to your higher self and you're listening for those messages. And those messages are leading you down the path that you can hardly see in the daylight, but you can see it really clearly inside you. What's on your mind is an abundance of love. This is again another ace and it is the Ace of Cups, which is abundance of unconditional love being given to you to cover all the love that you've been giving out to others. It is coming to you to fill you up so that you have even more to give to others. Look at this here. This dove is a blessing from the Holy Spirit, and this is a wafer, and this is like a communion. You're in divine connection with the Almighty, and you've been just like these lilies, you've been in the muck, you know how to grow through the muck and the slime and the gunge, and you can make beautiful flowers floating on top of them. Not You've been down deep and you know how to stay on top of any negativity, and you're just flowing with all this exuberance and abundance. You are a natural healer, and you are helping others with your wisdom and your insight from your intuitive guidance here, you're knowing how to bless others. And you are a blessing and the universe is replenishing as you give to others, it's replenishing you. In the beginning of January, you have the Two of Wands and the Two of Wands is this man holding the world in his hands. You have so much that you desire to bring to the world. These wands are desires, they are visions, and these are things you want to implement. So right now you're waiting, strategizing, thinking, and balancing out your life so that when the right moment comes, you're ready. You are ready. You're standing here ready, but you're just making sure you're staying in tune with the vision that you have deep inside you. In the position where you are right now, you've been facing a lot of outer turmoil, inner turmoil, big changes. Your life has just been uprooted and you've been thrown into a whole new situation that you weren't expecting and you've been doing very well with it. You're just not sure what to do with it. Uh, I mean, no, it's not true. You do know what to do with it, but you've been thrown into a situation that was out of your control, but you managed it and you just handled it. It's just a huge change that you've come through. You Through this whole process, you've gained new ideas, new epiphanies that will carry you and build your next part of your life for you, with you. Like you'll take those lessons you learned. How other people see you is perhaps they see that you're carrying the swords and sometimes other people are walking away feeling defeated. So perhaps you need to Open your heart a little bit and feel other people's pain. Just because you're so strong doesn't mean that they are and they just drop and give up. But you're still holding the sword and you're carrying it on for them. Fives are cards of transitions. So here you are transitioning. You probably wanted to help these people. So it comes to me right now. You probably wanted to help them, but they're not willing to listen. And you have these ideas. Swords, like I said, are ideas. And... You you are right. You are the victor here. You've won this battle, but they don't feel it, and it's an empty feeling. So other people are seeing that, yeah, you might have won because you might have said the right thing, but they're just not feeling it, and they don't really want to stick around because it's not helping them any. So make sure you're kind to other people. Use the right words that will inspire them as, as opposed to turning them off. In your hopes and dreams, you want to start fresh. This is the Fool card. He feels the sun shining on his back and he just is exuberant and he's got a little playful dog yapping at his tail, <laughs> yapping at his feet. And he's just looking up to the sky, asking the universe, speak to me, show me what I can do. And you are listening. With this high priestess, you are listening, and this fool 
is taking the right step at the right time, you know when to step. But this is your dream and hope. You want this, and I'm going to just show you because this is showing you right here. You want to have, a, you have the vision, you want to have a new beginning that will lead to, lead you to being settled and happy and completely taken care of. You want things to be in a joy of abundance. So that is, you're taking the risk, you want to take the risk, but right now you're just waiting for the right time. And at the end of the month, we still have the Hermit card. So it's time for you to still go inside and calm down. And it's time to listen. See all this gray? We're going to shut the mind off of all its crazy thoughts. And you're going to listen for the sound of the water. You're going to listen for the wind and the trees. You're going to look at the star in the night. And it's going to speak to you because you're hearing it. You absolutely are hearing messages, and especially when you're alone, when you quiet your mind, and you're being present. So be present and tune in. You're a very fierce, instinctual, strong-willed, but it's so amazing because it's just going to benefit so many people in the world. Your visions are going to come to reality, but before they come to reality, take this time and listen. Quiet your mind and listen, listen, listen. And you will share your radiant soul with the world. We're going to um, shuffle and take a, a card from the Wisdom of the Oracle for the theme of the month. Okay, so that's for January 2022 for Scorpio. What is the message we need for Scorpio? We're quieting our mind. We're listening. Listen to spirit. And the card we get is by the book. We can meditate by the book or we can throw the book away. Either way, we're going to listen. <laughs> See, look at the beautiful elephants there. They're walking and walking. They're just doing it what, what they know that they have to do next by the book. I'm going to read that. Oh, also take note, that's number 11. I don't know if you can see that there. I'll hold it still. 11. That'll be your number for the month of January. 11 it is. Okay, I'm just going to just glance through this because it's a new deck for me and they're oracle cards, so I just want to get an additional thought. Okay. The universe works within a structure of divine laws and principles that provides the framework for human experience and evolution. The law of abundance, the law of prayer, the law of karma and the law of attraction, the law of thought, the law of compensation and the law of nature are only a few that are known. These principles create a perfect order and operate with a kind of precision beyond human understanding. That's it. It's beyond human understanding, but you're picking up on it with your higher, higher priestess and your intuition. That's good. So open your eyes, open your ears to the truths that you need to hear that you can share with the world. That's the message for you, Scorpio. I hope you have a great 2022, and I hope the month of January brings you lots of fun and adventure. God bless, and have a great day. If you'd like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye-bye.